Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two 100-watt solar panels, both made by the same manufacturer. The only difference, the one on the left is monocrystalline, and the one on the right is polycrystalline. I'm going to be testing open circuit voltage for both panels in full sun, as well as the short circuit current. After that, we're going to be checking the power output for each one of these panels at reduced light levels. And at the very end of this video, we're going to shade a portion of each panel to see what kind of an effect it has on power output. Before we get started, I'm going to show you the specifications for each panel, side by side, monocrystalline on the right and polycrystalline on the left. Now to test these panels, I'm going to be using this light meter. When the sun is at the highest point in the sky, when it's directly overhead on a clear day, you can expect it to be right around 100,000 lux. I'm in South Florida. The sun is at the highest point in the sky right now around quarter to 12, but it is to the south of me. So instead of it being 90 degrees to the ground, it's right around 60 degrees to the ground. Every test that I do, you're going to be getting a reading off this light meter. Okay, you're looking at the open circuit voltage for both panels at 81,000 lux. 17.86 volts on the right for the mono and 17.94 volts for the poly. And now looking at the short circuit current for both panels at 80,200 lux. 7.24 amps on the right side for the mono and 7.08 on the left side for the poly. Both of these panels have been sitting out in the sun for at least a half an hour before these tests. You're now looking at the open circuit voltage for both panels at 27,400 lux. Okay, you're looking at short circuit current with a cloud in the way. It's 22,000 lux. On the right is the mono, and it's not that much different from the poly. I, I would have guessed that the mono would have had much more power output at this light level. Okay, let's compare the power outputs for both panels. I'm going to be using these H3 100 watt bulbs as loads connected to these power meters. The one on the left is the polycrystalline and the one on the right is the mono. Right now it's 52,000 lux, 17 volts and just about 0.3 higher on the mono in the lower light. Let me connect these up, come right back. Okay guys, you're looking at the power output for both panels now. Over here you can see 14.57, hopefully you can see that, 94.3 watts. This one's putting out 91.1 watt at 14.29. So a little lower output on the poly compared to the mono, but not too much. So let's keep an eye on it for a minute to see how it changes with light intensity. 78,400 right now. Over here it's going to show peak, six and a half amp peak, and should show the wattage. Peak wattage is almost 95 on that one. Peak wattage on this one is almost, let's see, 92. A little different. What I'm going to do now is shade one complete solar cell on each panel and see what kind of an effect it has on power output. Okay, you're looking at the short circuit current at 77,000 lux with one solar cell covered on each panel. And you can see pretty close, 3.49 or 3.5 for the mono and 3.4 for the poly. And that is it. Based on all the testing I did, I'd have to say there's really not that much of a difference between the mono and polycrystalline panels, at least of this brand. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up share and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.